I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? Welcome to the next level. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords and ladies brought to you in part by Go Touch Brandy. The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you Are you spying on me? And we keep driving into the night. It's a late goodbye. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. 
And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. on a catwalk until she's standing real close to me at the bar and she goes your place or my it's pay the door's locked try the door on the far right next to the large painting you can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony Well, that's just hold it. You. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Hey, stop it! Well, that's just... Stop! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. I'm going upstairs. Strip it down. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. Place needs to be cleaner, it's ever been. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved.
Unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphone started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. I'm out of ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator. Don't know. For fun. The thr hey! oh! ah! 
Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! He's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Find him, take care of him. Found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just just wanted to say. Damn it. Mona? Mona? Mona! Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby.
why had she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you, the way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes we found you Deputy out Chief of it on V, covered in blood. You ask me? He loves us all a bit too much. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinny Gogniti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah. Okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. I 
want to report a crime. You've come to the right place. Okay, so my boyfriend, the loser jerk, sits on his ass all day and keeps playing these stupid video games. You know, stupid dick justice and stuff. Doesn't go to work, gives me no thought. Unfortunately, being a jerk is not a crime. No, no, I wasn't finished. I'm getting to it. So I got real sick of it and threw the television out of the window. It was mine. I can do whatever I want with it, right? As long as no one got hurt. That's what I told him. He's my ex, really. But now the sicko's threatening to kill me. That's a crime, right? He's been playing those video games. 10-4. Sorry, detective. Can't help you now. I need to take this call. For my life! How do you expect anyone to remember your name if you can't spell it right? Basic positioning. It all starts with a name. You're ever gonna crack it. It'll be done when it's done. I'm gonna do it right. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Want to get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will buzz you in. Pain here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. <laughs> Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment the inner circle was mentioned. Can I use your phone? There's, the ladies. There's one through the door behind you. I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Play some hoops later on? Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <coughs> Jesus! Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Please, drop it! Oh! Armed perps in the lockup. Officer down! Take him down! Find the bitch! Find her! Kill her! NYPD! Drop your gun! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. It was all...
Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about... Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah. Okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both. The lineup was done. Mona was back in her cell. The cells were downstairs. Wanna get to the lockup? Just press the buzzer by the door. Petersburg will Pain buzz you here. in. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. <laughs> I didn't want to have anything to do with Woden. I should have called him the moment. Can I use your phone? I need to make a call. You can use this phone. Jesus Christ! I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. behind a desk would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. 